South Downs and we're hoping for a misty sunrise. I think you might be able to see out the window of the van. It's looking promising. So I'm going to bring you with me and uh, I'll tell you more about the channel as we go. Enjoy. Okay, so we're starting out with a long lens and we're going to try and pick out some detail within this landscape. Now I'm not sure how much of, of my screen you're going to be able to see but I'm currently zoomed in to just shy of 100 mil and we're trying to pick out the trees and the mist that's around it. I appreciate it's going to be a little bit bright for you on the screen but what we're trying to do is to expose correctly so that we can get all of the detail within the shadow but also the nice colour that's going to start appearing on the horizon as we move through the, uh, the course of the, the morning. Um, I'm expecting, and I don't want to jinx myself here, but I'm expecting the mist to actually build as the temperature starts to warm up. So we'll see how the mist start, moves through the, the, the valley here and, and what it does in terms of how we need to compose or recompose to make sure that we get some nice images. So I've been here a number of times in the past I kind of know what I'm doing here. Very familiar location with, with really anybody that's into landscape photography that is, is born and raised in West Sussex. It's, um, it's definitely a location that often delivers. And uh, I think that this location actually has won the award, the annual award for a photography competition that they hold for the South Downs on, on, on a number of occasions. And uh, rightly so, look at it, it's, it's incredible. But anyway, let's take a few shots. What I do is, if I get anything nice in this kind of pre-dawn light, then I'll share them with you now. Off, uh, off actual sunrise now. I think that the sun should be just about to come over my head somewhere kind of there. Um, I've left the actual drone above me 
so that we can kind of capture that sunrise as it comes over the hill. But I'm now gonna really focus on the photography because uh, this is the time that I've really hoped things would really kick off. So there is some cloud approaching. I'm really hoping that it doesn't interfere with what we've got planned. Um, but let's see. So let's just spin you around. Uh, you can see now we've got the sun just coming over the horizon. So I'm going to focus on photography for a few minutes. You can see that actually, I don't know if you can see over there, there's another photographer over there. It'd be interesting to uh, see if that's anybody I know. Uh, but I'm going to concentrate on the photography and uh, we'll show you exactly what we get. really lucked out this morning literally can't believe the conditions really really happy not sure how much of it you can see behind me because of the uh, the brightness but I'll show you in a sec when I flip you around but literally I couldn't have I couldn't have written a prescription for the weather to be any better than what it is now I mean let me flip you around hopefully you're gonna see some of that golden light just coming into the mist appreciate on this DJ Osmo 2 probably doesn't zoom in far enough for you to be able to see a lot of the detail that I'm talking about but certainly my images are going to pick it up and uh, really looking forward to showing you what we've got this morning I've stuck the 24 to 70 on now um, you can see for those who don't already know me I've got the Canon R5 which is an absolute beaut of a camera and uh, the 24 to 70 2.8 which really is a beautiful lens as well highly recommend although it is obviously quite pricey so I had to save up quite a while in order to get it but really 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 happy with these conditions and uh, really happy that I've been able to share some of it with you I'll uh, take a few images and then we'll probably think about ending the video I hope it's been helpful to some of you or at least interesting to see some of the conditions that we get down in the uh, in the southeast of England let's say West Sussex is not generally somewhere that gets on YouTube all that often for landscape photography but it does have some amazing places I'm always out working on that landscape photography and uh, hopefully this gives you a little bit of a flavor of what we get sometimes when we're lucky okay so what I expected to happen has started to happen which is as the Sun's come up the mist has really started to rise up the hill which is fantastic got some amazing photos but what it does mean now is that really a lot of what I wanted to capture now is, is under a veil of, of, of fog, which makes it difficult to uh, show you much in a, in, a, in a vlog. So what I'm probably going to do now is just hang about for maybe another 10 minutes, see what, what happens, see how the light changes. But as I think you can probably see as I flip you around, it 
the sun has started to go behind that bank of cloud that I started seeing earlier. But a lot of that might just be actually just a fog lifting as well, but incredible conditions. I feel really fortunate to be out here this morning. So I think I'm gonna leave the video there. We've had a really, really good luck this morning. Uh, the, the, the weather forecast, although where I live, uh, I looked out this morning, there was absolutely no fog. I thought, you know what, let's try. Let's see what we can get. Let's get down there because there's quite a big river down here, the River Arran, and uh, often that really helps in terms of the moisture that's needed for, for foggy conditions. So beautiful morning. I hope you've enjoyed some of the things that I've been able to show you this morning. So it's not very often West Sussex gets really any airtime from a landscape perspective on, on YouTube. So it's been really nice to give you the opportunity to see some of the things that we've got going on down in West Sussex. Planning on doing a lot of videos now over the course of the next sort of six months and beyond. Really hope you consider joining me for those. If you don't mind or you're happy with what I've put together this morning, then please consider giving the video a like. And uh, if you want to see and follow my journey here on, then uh, subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Hope you've enjoyed it. Goodbye.